Coming up in ViewCast, he's been inventing gadgets to clean the air since he was a kid. Meet the boy wonder who just might save the environment. Magic moments in American history are housed right here at Vanderbilt. We'll take you inside this national video treasure. And Vandy goes gold. Hi, I'm Amy Wolf with ViewCast. When it comes to describing Vanderbilt students, the term overachiever is often used. But one Vanderbilt sophomore is inventing new ways to clean the air and rescue the environment, and is receiving national recognition in the process. Meet 18-year-old Param Jaggi. His environmentally and energy-friendly inventions landed him on Forbes magazine's top 30 under 30 list for the second year in a row. When other kids were playing Legos, Plano, Texas native Param Jaggi was in the lab, dreaming about ways to help the environment. While just a teenager, Jaggi invented an algae-filled device that attaches to a car's tailpipe, turning dangerous carbon emissions into oxygen. The device harnesses carbon dioxide. Um, it's set up, it's an apparatus that um, uses algae to photosynthesize carbon dioxide. That breakthrough idea earned Jaggi his first Forbes Top 30 Under 30 in the Energy Field Award, along with accolades from the Environmental Protection Agency, Popular Science, CNBC, and more. It's a great feeling. Uh, the first year, you know, there were feelings of uh, maybe getting lucky or um, just by a miracle getting on the list. Um, and getting on the list for the second time really gave uh, validity to my research. Now an environmental science and economics major in the College of Arts and Science, Jaggi is working on his next green idea. He's harnessing heat and wind energy from moving cars to help them run more efficiently. That earned him a spot on Forbes' top 30 list for a second year in a row. Jaggi says Vanderbilt is the perfect school for his big dreams. Um, I was looking for a school with much more research opportunities and uh, an overall mindset um, that is pushed towards success. Um, and I thought Vanderbilt was the, was the right mix between um, laying that foundation and the social atmosphere. Though Jaggi is often focused on his inventions, he seems equally proud of his new role as fraternity brother. It's been probably the best experience that I've had so far. Um, and I think my whole life I've been um, kind of do it on my own, um, get the research done on my own, and you know, take as minimal help as possible. Um, and then joining a fraternity, you have um, 80 brothers that are um, there for you at all times. Jaggi co-founded the environmental company Ecoviate as a teenager. You can learn more about his inventions and mission for affordable green products on ecoviate.com. Two Vanderbilt alums are also top 30 award winners. Read about them on news.vanderbilt.edu. Search Forbes. Vanderbilt's getting greener every day. Our latest project, electric car charging stations all over campus. Find out more about the stations and our green initiatives on vanderbilt.edu, search charging stations and sustain VU. Uh, hotel officials have just come on the loudspeaker and told people who are living here, uh, get into your rooms, the worst of the storm is on the way. Hundreds of moments in American history are housed right here at Vanderbilt. Moments Americans shared through their TV screens. Vanderbilt is proud to run the world's most extensive and complete archive of television news with broadcasts dating back to 1968. The highlight of this year's Mid-South Regional Emmy Awards came when Vanderbilt's TV News Archives received the Governor's Award for Lifetime Achievement by the National Academy of Television Arts and Sciences. On behalf of all of us at Vanderbilt and Vanderbilt's libraries, I thank the Board of Governors and express great appreciation for this recognition. Thank you so much. Here's a look at what makes TV News Archives a national treasure. The ABC Evening News with Frank Reynolds. August 5th, 1968 was the first day of the Republican Convention. This time we're going to win! This is the CBS Evening News with Walter Cronkite. And I was amazed to discover that the networks themselves do not keep videotape records of these news programs. The importance of the Vanderbilt News Archive lies in the transition from print to the visual image as a major source of the news that Americans get. Printed words can paint a picture, but video images create clarity. This whole revoir 
We'll see you again. What happens is when you work at the archive, you get infected with the idea that this stuff needs to be available to everyone. It started as a three-month experiment. Today, Vanderbilt's TV News Archive is the only comprehensive digital database of national television news. So here we are at Vanderbilt recording every historic momentous event as it happens. Tranquility Base here. The Eagle has landed. Roger, Twink. Tranquility, we copy you on the ground. What? <laughs> okay, we're going to be busy for a minute. And then that event goes into the stream of history as it's taking place. The three-month experiment that started in 1968 now spans numerous presidencies. I, Richard Nixon, do solemnly swear that I will faithfully execute the office of President of the United States. And countless iconic images. You never can wrap your head around the enormity of, of what's been accomplished because it's so many people who have recorded, you know, every evening's news, every day, over and over and over again, always getting it done. These are people who are creative, talented people who could easily work for more, but they work here. And it's because they believe in what the archive does. And they want to be a part of it. And that's the way it is. Tuesday, August 13th, 1968. This is Guide, CBS News. Good night. Let's put modesty aside for just a minute to congratulate the Vanderbilt video team. Producer Emily Pierce and videographer Pat Slattery each received Emmys in the sports category for Commodore's Signing Day. Watch the winning video on news.vanderbilt.edu, search Signing Day. For ViewCast, I'm Amy Wool.